Okay, so we've cast our nested fractal of icosahedron, and it's cast in ancient bronze. We calculated the ancient bronze to be 176 grams of bronze with your button. So let's see what we actually got. So first we're turning the scale on, making sure it's zeroed and set to grams. And our final weight. Take that apart. It's 178 grams. So we went two grams over, and we have a substantial button. So the following step is to come back, clip off this button, and then weigh our bronze part with just the sprue system, which initially in the 3D printed and sprued form weighed 14 grams. Okay, so we have separated our printed part that has been cast from the button. And now what we want to do is we want to check the printed part mass relative to the cast mass. So we're going to set our printed part on the scale. And the cast part weighs 99 grams. So, for our total conversion factor, we're looking at 99 over 14. And when you do the math for that, it's about, I think, 7.2 will get you there. And so your multiplier for the resin printed part versus the cast bronze outcome is 7.2 for your basic multiplier. And it's nice to actually have a verification of this is my printed part, cast in metal, and then weigh your metal to make sure that the exact changes that you'd expect to see are behaving as you anticipated. And just for filler, we had apparently about 76, 78 grams of button, and that was head pressure that allowed the rest of these details to fill. So without that back pressure to draw from to fill this part, you may not get full resolution in these subtle details of the printed part. And so before you weigh it, make sure to clean off as much plaster as possible and that the metal itself is dry.